to the challenge on occasion, Corelli. But Triple Trouble also have kind of been on this long-winded redemption arc, trying to, you know, basically live up to the name of Triple Trouble in Europe. Yeah. And it's been difficult so far. Libertas, the next to stand in the way. Yeah, trying to get back to the former glory many seasons ago. But even today, Triple Trouble have been one win away over Dignitas and Team Liquid. And I think Libertas are a little disappointed with the way that they performed against Liquid. I definitely agree with Turtle saying that, you know, the defense was there for the most part, but not the scoring. And Rix has got to make a big save here early as Libertas find themselves in a similar situation right off the bat. You can't be, you know, can't get too lax in your awareness and allow the types of passing plays that Team Liquid were able to perform. You know, Libertas have been on defense for a little stint here. A couple of air dribble attempts into passes or challenges, but nothing has really just broken through. Blue is finally forced up against the backboard. But this isn't a terrible start for Libertas. It was a good challenge by Mike Boy to get set in the blue half. Rizek's actually leaving that down for Ricks, who can't find the target. That was uh, actually, that worked out, worked out pretty well for Ricks on that play, but just could not find the net. Oh, oh that's so close. It here. Oh. For, for Ricks there and Again, to our to your point, Jorby, as Rix has another chance. Mike Boy might have an open net, and he will put it away. A 1-0 lead for Libertas. Libertas, they do finally break through. Bluey next up just could not get back to it. Wanted to hopefully just play that out to the next corner. As soon as Rizex, you know, takes that initial shot, he's thinking go for the save as soon as he turns around, but couldn't make contact, which just led to Mike Boy putting it in. So pretty uh, much better start than how oh. things went against Team Liquid. This is a great start. This is tying the number of goals they scored against Liquid in the last series <laughs> through three games. They only put up one goal while Liquid put up 10 against them through three games. So this is a fantastic start for Libertas and a great series of attacks on the opposite side. But right back the other way, it's Bluey to tie things up. And Libertas should be expecting this for the duration of the match. Triple Trouble are going to be a tough out. Nice little dump in front of Bluey from Tadpole. Uh, but, you know, for I, I think that kind of game that they had against Team Liquid Corelli, you get scored on 10 times, you can't get anything done. Uh, I, that speaks to why resiliency is such a, a huge factor in this type of format, because you got to go and play another match right after that. And, you know, depending on what your record was, you could get smacked 10-1 and then 10-1 again, and then have to play another match. Like, it, it definitely puts a stretch and really tests the conditioning of your mentality. The Libertas, I mean, they've really... They've just looked much better. Triple Trouble haven't been able to really pass the ball too much yet. They got that one pass in traffic to Bluey, but overall, Libertas have done a good job controlling the pitch. They have, and this format really speaks to players who will be resilient, especially after tough losses. You get multiple chances here through these stages, and I mean, you get three games at the very least, and Calix, he's going to get one shot and one goal. And the go-ahead goal for Triple Trouble. You know, Mike Boy, he had to pick up that boost to maybe get a read on it. And then just not quite the touch he probably wanted there. Probably wanted something a little more powerful or didn't expect to have to play that as quickly as he did. He, that little bit of time he spent getting the boost really cost him and forced that misplay. Now, Tadpole will start for Triple Trouble. And Tadpole will actually get that rebound down over to Calix. A couple of issues now pop up for Libertas along the back wall and backboard. Triple Trouble and Bluey tried to shovel it back, but now it put Calix in a position across the back wall, made the challenge happen against Mike Boy. Another oh, huge no. whip opens oh, up the back of the defense, but Calix can't get a solid opportunity on it. And no goal for Triple Trouble. I think he had a low boost situation there, but couldn't make contact. That one probably should have had a better effort there, even with it being a tough one for him to deal with. And unfortunately, Triple Trouble had the opportunity to open up that lead a little bit. And Libertas now trying to force something on the blue side. Have to be careful here of the space in the backfield if you're Triple Trouble. Libertas definitely eyeing it right now. Libertas set up. Rizex has a clean there pass. Mike Boy, the shot low and saved but Libertas can continue. Rizex gave uh, Ricks a chance for the challenge. And Triple Trouble forced into this 
reactionary defensive situation. Tadpole has the catch next. He's able to get out past midfield, but the demo on the backside will slow the rotation forward for Triple Trouble. Bluey doing a lot of work on defense right now. Tadpole was downfield, bumped out of the way by Rizex. Libertas avoiding a couple of demos to try to stay on offense. And Calix finds the next clear. Triple Trouble get out, but Libertas steal the ball away again. A lot of bumping and demos from Libertas right now is really throwing off that rotation and Bluey almost was getting dunked there, but you're seeing Triple Trouble spend a lot of time on defense. They're able to break out here. What can Calix set up? Louie went for the bump on the goal line and couldn't get contact. And Libertas are able to break out again. You can see everyone from Triple Trouble retreating back to their line. And Libertas had a lot of space to work with. And Tadpole the next to jump up and they have been very passive, like nobody following up knowing Tadpole's going for the next challenge, but they were still playing the loss on that last challenge, trying not to stretch it. They do retain the lead at the end of regulation, and they almost get a third goal. If Tadpole kills it, he can't. So it will give Libertas one more try with Mike Boy. He's got the catch around the corner, flips it up. Already up is Rick's Raw Day. Tries to squash it against the backboard, but it's defended by Tadpole. Calix oh. follows it up, and Triple Trouble take the first game. It was a close one there at the end. It did feel like Libertas were getting the better of Triple Trouble, but you could see it was a very conservative approach at the end of that game. Triple Trouble wanted to get back to their lines and play defense and kind of just prevent Libertas from having any more opportunities. But I don't think this was a horrible game for Libertas. That's 12 shots for them here in this game. They're able to put up one goal. There's a lot of opportunity left on the table, I think. And Triple Trouble have to be careful of giving up those chances. I think Rix is looking at his chances, especially. Those were the two most glaring ones from Libertas near the beginning of the game, where he had an open net initially. He had to stretch for it, hit the crossbar. And the next one he had to really stretch for in traffic, and he hit the crossbar again. That alone could have given Libertas the win that they needed. But, uh, you know, Rix, hopefully his accuracy can improve in the next game for Libertas if his number is called. But Triple Trouble took advantage of those missed opportunities for sure, Corelli. I think at the end of the day, too, look, this wasn't a bad game for either team. Triple Trouble, or excuse me, Libertas did get the better of Triple Trouble at the end. It is about conversion at that point, putting away your shots. But uh, I think the biggest thing for Triple Trouble, even though walking away with the win here, is you've got to make sure that you watch out for Libertas. They like to send a lot of players for those guys on the back line. They have pushed out that last defender multiple times. That's left a lot of space for Libertas to work with. Well, they're already back on the blue half to start off the kickoff, but this time, Bluey takes a leading roll for a bump. Couldn't get it, and Tadpole's follow-up was denied anyway. So, Libertas, throw a quick one downfield. Now only one man back, but he won't face too much pressure. It's Rizex. Now against Ooh. Tadpole, he's over two defenders now. Tried to go for the low challenge against Bluey. Mike Boy now following close. Can Libertas find this? Well, Mike Boy will take the boost as a consolation prize and Rix will buy him plenty of time, but the pass is to no one but Triple Trouble. Yeah, I think Mike wanted someone there on the left side, and Bluey couldn't follow up for a second touch. It is a big clear from Rix, Rix Ron, or Rizex, and Rix Ron Days downfield. Great redirect into the net, and a 1-0 lead for Libertas. Rix flying downfield after his challenge, and then, well, favor forces those who are downfield or fortune favors those who are downfield, and uh, Rix was the benefactor this time, and he didn't miss. So Libertas, a, yeah. Very though-like goal that we saw yesterday from Gil, though a couple mm. times was just kind of on the other side as that ball would pop out, and he was right in front of the net to tap it in. That was a great shot, though, by Rix Rondé. And Libertas are better for it. And I like to see the passing from them as well. They've been very eager to find each other and cross the field using those lateral passes that have really spread out the defense. This is a smart challenge from Rizex. Look at the space he's bought himself. He got everyone to go and Triple Trouble send the house and they do get the clear. This is where you might start getting concerned for Triple Trouble a minute and a half in is they haven't really had uh, a lot of space. That was true for the most part in game one, but you're really seeing it in their rotations now and how they approach the game. Just trying for those solo play challenges or just booming the ball down the field. But you see Calix playing sec or the third man, but one will stay downfield hoping for, you know, hoping for either a favorable bounce or a booming launch where they can receive the pass. Oh my oh! goodness. Speaking of lasers, this one was particularly powerful by Mike Boy. And, 
And this one came off of Bluey as well. That had a blue line behind the ball. And it's hard to tell because it's instantly into a demolition there, but it came off of Bluey. And unfortunately, or Triple Trouble give up another one. I can't really blame the man on the goal line there. That's tough to read. You call that the uh, the phantom pinch, if you will. <laughs> I'm not even like sure. That. I saw it like it like barely chipped off of Bluey's car. Oh, nice touch by Calix. And Bluey going straight for the demo, but Tadpole was so far back that following that up required him to win two successive challenges, and that's already difficult coming from that corner. Now they're all forced back, and Libertas are happy to play it right back to the blue half. Great first touch by Rizex. Look at what he's done for his team here. Riz Rix Ronde had an opportunity. Mike Foy may be able to finish it. Great setup by Rizex. And a nice job by Calix on the defensive end as well. Able to get those two big defensive stops. The first one was a little tougher than the second, but still excellent job on the net minding. Now triple trouble. They still need a goal despite the good defensive effort by Calix. And the offense has been a struggle. Only two shots, both by Tadpole. That does feel like Libertas are getting the better oh. of Triple Trouble in the attacking department, but Tadpole has opportunities. Great touchdown to Calix. Rich Ronde cuts it out. I think Triple Trouble need to have another dimension to their offense, and they got Rizex in the back. Blue goes for the bump. Oh. Calix goes back post, and Triple Trouble get one back. This is a nice approach on the team play. It's Rizek's back trying to figure out where exactly this is going to go. He's thinking maybe a pass, but he's at least going to defend where Calix can shoot it. Instead, Bluey just blinds him for a half second. That's enough to delay any reaction he can have to Bluey putting it in the net. Excellent job or to Calix putting it in the net, excuse me. So nice job by Bluey, who's been trying to play that bully role more and more as the match has gone on. He's known for that, but he doesn't do that all the time but it seems to be something he's starting to rely on in this match against Libertas. Oh no, that's uh -oh. past the entire Triple Trouble defense, and that's gonna be a freebie for Rizex, and not what Triple Trouble want when trying to come back. Uh, I'm not, I think Bluey thought that first man, I think it was Mike Boy was gonna make contact. He semi pre-jumped it there as he was up early before contact was made. And unfortunately, both his teammates were the left and to the right of him. And so nobody was back. So an interesting goal to give up if you're triple trouble. And unfortunately, now only have a minute to work with here to get two back. And Calix has looked fairly solid. He only had one moment where I thought he uh, he truly gaffed it when he had a shot opportunity on net in game one. But other than that, you need him to make solid contact. He's doing it. You need him to put it into the right spot. He's done it. Now they need it one more time. Tadpole with the air dribble initially. Bluey making Mike Boy wait, so it forces Rizex up. Now Libertas haven't really sweat a whole lot on defense. In fact, their counterattacks have been pretty clean, and Rick's just getting wide of that ball. Couldn't put it on target. And there's been four or five times now that Libertas have just caught out the defense of Triple Trouble. Many clears just going over that last man, and everyone from Libertas just racing behind it as Triple Trouble have to play with their backs turned to their own net. The rotations definitely have not felt, uh, they've not felt consistent and they've definitely felt haphazard from Triple Trouble. Sometimes you either have both second and third man playing a loss on the challenge and no one is nearby to at least take advantage of, you know, any kind of follow-up or they send all three players up in they're not in the right spot or they're playing too closely or Libertas have just done a good job defending it. A little bit of columns A, B, and C mm -hmm. are all what add up to a sum of a triple trouble loss. And again, Libertas, a lot of shots coming out here from them and a lot of dangerous chances as well. Triple Trouble really had to stretch out that defense to stay in this one and didn't generate a lot of offense because of it. It was a great uh, goal from Calix and, of course, Bluey going for that bump on Rizex. But I got to say, Rizex has been a standout player through these two games. He's at the top of the leaderboard here, but really just using his brain a lot of times on these touches, sending in some fakes, getting players to go, opening up space behind the defense to dish off to his teammate. That's the type of guy I want on my team. And right now he is just dishing it out for Libertas. Yeah, and there's just no consistent pressure either. It's been like Libertas have had the easiest counterattacks. 
that I think I've seen in the last two or three days. Like, why why do they get these free passes, these free long passes from their own back wall and towards midfield? Like, Triple Trouble just aren't ready for those counter advances, and it's really killed them. Like, we've seen it, and Corelli, you were saying it, like, the whole defense is always scrambling to get back and recover. And Triple Trouble are in a lot of trouble if they can't figure that out. With Rizex and company, they're feeling much better after game two, and in Aqua Dome, maybe stack some wins. Boy, are they going to need it. I think the first step is generating some consistent offense. It seems like one player really has an opportunity for Triple Trouble at any one time. There's not multiple chances at the net. And Libertas really haven't been tested much here on the defensive side of things. I'd like to see that defense be tested a bit more. Oh, here's a good pass from Calix to Tadpole. And that's really where the key component on offense for Triple Trouble has been lacking. A few times they have scored, it's come off of a team play of some sort, whether it be an infield pass or, you know, Bluey playing lead blocker. Either way, it's taken multiple players involved to get through the Libertas defense. We will hop it over. Kind of like another block from Mike Boy, who's also had a solid match so far, but this is a good look for Triple Trouble. Good rotations, they're getting a lot of the boost deals and having some space. Look, a, a pretty much clean look to Calyx from Tadpole and they get more boost out of it. Oh. Having to rely on the pads, but Rich Ronde had enough of it to clear some space with a nicely timed demo. That was a fantastic demo because it was a perfect pass over to Tadpole and Triple Trouble really got in a groove there. Once they figured that defense was low on boost, uh, initially Tadpole had gone for a bump and I think that last man for Libertas had to get out of the way, but that was the best offense that we've seen from Triple Trouble. Consistent offense from Triple Trouble. Multiple shots. They've already put up three here in this game. It's time. Rex Ronde is getting bumped out of the way, and Tadpole does a quick flip over to try to give any kind of chance for a shot, but... Libertas proved to still be really difficult on defense. Oh, and on the save. counter, still so threatening. It takes a three-pronged attack. Mike Boy with the cleanup. Great follow-up from Mike Boy, like you said, cleaning up this play. Look at the pass to Rick Ronde. Bluey, he had zero boost going for that. He got his mid stolen away and just at the last moment was able to make the save off the crossbar. That's about as much as you can ask for a man with no boost. And Mike Boy there at the end of clearing things up. Libertas back on top. Now Triple Trouble put in a deficit again. Well, Calix wants to take point. Tadpole's next up. Maybe this is a good look for Triple Trouble. Oh, Bluey had the read placement perfect. And Triple Trouble tied up. And Calix stole away that left boost, went for the bump on Rick's Ronde, which forced him back into the net. So nobody was up for this. Rizex was still rotating around. And that's what opened up that space in the, in, in the uh, airspace above the box in Triple Trouble get one back so now we've reset don't have to think about how you're behind for too long now tadpole forced to stay back as the ball gets boomed right back into their half triple trouble handling libertas counterattacks a little better their clears are also much more solid they aren't getting beat to a lot of these balls on defense as often as they were in game two but even right here it could be scary for triple trouble with the midfield belonging to Libertas. Cutting right back in, Rizex. Off the ceiling, drops under. He tried to scoop it over Tadpole, but lost any power that he would have had. See what Triple Trouble can set up here. It's taken just one man to slow them down, and Rick's around any chase Bluey into his own net. Now the shot, far post. Bluey got a dance inside of his own goal line. And he might just get a goal here if he could put it. He puts it wide. Ooh. Nobody was back for Libertas. That was a huge opportunity for Bluey. Really was. He still had to. He felt like he had to be quick with it, and he definitely had to be quick. Now Tadpole, nice cut, but nobody from Triple Trouble can follow that up quickly enough. Not that you would expect it. It was a nice cut from Tadpole. But this is where the tough part comes in for Triple Trouble. Can they break through the Libertas defense again? They were only able to do it once in the last game. Trying to force the ball on the rebound, keep testing the, Liber uh, the Libertas backboard. That time, Calix just straight up tested Ricks in net. Tadpole finding Bluey, but the rest of Triple Trouble had to retreat. Libertas stop him again. 
Rebel have shown multiple attacks that have been able to break down that Libertas defense. See if they can do it here. Final minute. Triple Trouble trying to hang in here. Libertas trying to just sweep them out of the tournament. As they meet up in midfield, Blue is going to have to clear this one away to his own corner. Oh, nice from... Nice from Mike Boy here to get that pass out to Ricks. The coverage in midfield has definitely been Libertas's. I triple trouble. They've had some good sequences, but you still feel like Libertas have really controlled the pace of the game just Ooh. off of how quick they are in midfield and how many times they get by the triple trouble defense like this. Calix didn't expect Rizex to be right on top of him, so the ball jets over him, but triple trouble, they get out of that for now. Ricks beat to the ball by Calix. That's a good start. Can they get something going at the end of regulation? Or will they take that risk over overtime? Mike Boy getting bumped out of the way. Now Tadpole and Bluey are just going to let it drop overtime. That last clear from Libertas is a bit scary for my liking if I'm on triple trouble. Everyone committed it at generally the same time. Now here's Rick's Ronde. Couldn't get over it. And if I'm triple trouble, you want to march down the field as fast as you can. Do not let Libertas into a groove here. Libertas from midfield, Mike Boy, he's going to look for Rizek. Well, Rizek just couldn't find the angle he needed. But that's still going to be a threat. Mike Boy keeps it close for Rizek. No roll just yet on the Triple Trouble defense. They couldn't defend the carry from Bluey, so Rick's back on his own wall. We'll force Libertas to have to take a new look at midfield. Rizek... Getting the bump and the oh. pass and the shot from Mike Boy, giving Libertas the win on Aquadome, all thanks to Rizex. I've been calling this man's name all series long. And look at that pass to Mike Boy, right on the nose, right on the money. A 3-0 series win for Libertas and a strong showing for them. Uh, quite a recovery from what we saw with them against uh, Team Liquid and really impressed with how they've recovered in that respect. So very good performance overall from Libertas for uh, Triple Trouble. I mean, they just there's just no I, I think I get so used to saying there's no philosophy on offense, but just that they could never really establish any sort of rhythm. There was no uh, there was no consistent idea of how to maintain pressure. It just felt like, well, I'll just, you know, drive forward with the ball around the corner. I'll make a 50 happen. Uh, you know, if it pops out to the second man, great. If it doesn't, well, now everybody retreats. Like, they, they're they just, Triple Trouble are so retreat happy. And, like, they're, they're never really positioned for success beyond the first man. Uh, sometimes they put together the good passing play but that's after they've they're already in a favorable position where they were they were positioned for a challenge and they were one was rotating back and it's like oh the ball just plops right in front of me let me turn around all of a sudden i have a second man to pass to like, it just felt like it was fortunate for uh triple trouble on the goals that they have scored but corelli i will say that triple trouble did win the yeah. first game so it's not quite a libertas i am sweep. big wrong jorby but huge wrong here the best but the best part is corelli i'll just say that over uh you know on the e-league stream uh we have what's called the spaceman sweep where you know spaceman uh lovely lovely commentator over uh over on the e-league stream was like if uh one team wins but then the other team wins three in a row that's still a sweep right and like only to use space man so that's the space man <laughs> sweep if libertas win this game there you go i'll take it but no yes we play one more game here if libertas wins we keep going of course if triple trouble can stay in it i completely spaced that they had won so that's my bad but here we go off into game four and libertas still looking very good here in my opinion and for triple trouble they kept it close i thought for dorby they did spend a lot more time on the offensive part of the field they did a lot better putting together more dangerous chances but i still feel like this libertas team are able to just find the ball over the heads of triple trouble time and time again it feels like libertas have had a lot of space to work with and rick's ronde shot turned away by bluey at the last second that was, here comes I libertas once more it was as close to a sacrifice as you could get bluey just you know, laying it all on the line for one save. That was, uh, how much more saves looked like that? Or you just, you jump into a demo right as you touch the ball. It looked cool. Tadpole winning a 
what would have been a big 50, but Bluey didn't have enough to go and chase it. So, Triple Trouble are forced to reassess back on the blue half. Tadpole trying to dump it to Bluey, but pass just off the mark. This pass was on the mark, but Rizex couldn't find contact. Nice pass back over to Mike Boy. Libertas starting to take control of midfield again. They've been hard to push off that midfield line, especially when Mike Boy's making touches like that. And Ricks gives a chance to Rizex. But Calix is there on the defense, so despite the nice passing, it's still really good from Libertas. They've maintained consistent pressure, but haven't found the back of the net yet. They're keeping possession as well, and they're going from left to right, hitting both sidelines right now. You can see what's happening to Triple Trouble. They're very sped at, spread out, and the boost game is very low for them at the same time. Haven't been able to keep too much possession. Bluey wanted to give that one back, and Calix now in pursuit. Lippertoss still on this possession game, and they might catch out Triple Trouble once more. Good touch by Tadpole to slow things down. Bluey punts one away. Alex, another touch out. He actually wins the next touch. Just lets it drop in front for Tadpole. And Calix lets it all hang for Triple Trouble. And it's a huge goal for Triple Trouble here. Calix was going across to get a piece of Rizex, but he goes in and out of the goal. And a great follow up by Tadpole all the way through. And 1 0 for Triple Trouble getting on the board here early. It's exactly what they needed. They spent a lot of time on defense early. Now they go up 1 0, put the pressure on Libertas to break their defense. A Bluey in game one was probably the biggest difference maker just from his uh, his demos. Calix since then has kind of been keeping Triple Trouble within distance of Libertas the whole way through. And there just hasn't been a real, like there hasn't been that consistent threat that you're really scared of for Triple Trouble, but Calix has made a couple of big individual efforts in getting the ball into space, giving his teammates a chance on net. And we'll see if they can retain this lead. Libertas had a couple of scary chances, but another counterattack, Rizek or Rick's Ronde, have to let it drop down. Calix has definitely been the initiator on a lot of these plays where he's the one to carry the ball down the field or to receive the pass. Bluey and Tadpole have done a good job. Bluey's been very physical throughout this game. We talked about it earlier, Jorbri, saying that that's what he does in these games, but Tadpole has been an all-around type of guy, getting the job done on both sides of the field and setting up players like Calix definitely bodes well for a team like Triple Trouble. Here's Calix again, looking for that back wall. Tadpole's there, shot goes in and a two goal lead for Triple Trouble. This comes off the backboard. Ricks, he had no boost and got a really poor touch on net. Mike Boy tried to get the quick read and it wasn't actually bad. He, act he actually got to the ball, but the shot was hard enough. You saw 101 kilometers per hour that even though he got the touch, the ball was already the entire way in the net. But it looked like he got a little contact on the ball. I actually thought, Mike, boy, that was probably the best approach he could have taken to quickly get to the save from a shot that hard. Overall, though, finding themselves yeah, in a position that they haven't really been in before now. Two goals down against Triple Trouble, not finding as much success as they move down the field. There's been a couple of dangerous chances, but Triple Trouble have played some very solid defense, even though it feels like Libertas might be controlling the possession for most of this game. Triple Trouble have done well to stick in it, stay with the ball and play good defense and now find themselves up 2-0. Besides this little progression downfield, oh, Mike Boy actually punches the ball in. Libertas. They cut the lead in half off of this great initial carry from Rick's oh. Ronde. Two players on the back wall miss that touch from Rick's Ronde, and that's just spells disaster for the Triple Trouble defense. Mike Boy had a free shot on target. That last man in net really had no chance at it. And so Libertas get one back with some time left on the clock. Now Triple Trouble just have to manage for 20 seconds for game five. That might feel like a short amount of time, but it's an eternity in Rocket League. Rizex trying to keep the play alive. Mike Boy had time to get to the challenge, but Bluey wins on the low angle. Uh, Rizex tried to hop the route. He actually bumped Bluey off the ball. Now Rix has a oh. shot. Rix can't get the goal. Mike Boy keeps it alive off the ramp. Rizex dumps it down to Rix Ronde, but Triple Trouble hold the line. They survive for game number five.
Wow, what a defensive play from Triple Trouble here in this game. Even though it's the game where they were able to take a two-goal lead, it did feel like Libertas were putting on a lot of pressure that Triple Trouble had to deal with. And for a while, things got a little dicey for Triple Trouble on the defensive side of things. But I have to say, this, if anything, proves Triple Trouble certainly can contend with this Libertas team when they're under pressure. And that's really important because Libertas have been able to set up a lot of plays with the space given that have been very tough for Triple Trouble to deal with. And, you know, I, I don't know from your uh, eyes, Corelli, but to me, this game has felt, or this match has felt very grounded. Like, it doesn't feel like, there, there are some matches where it feels like the entire game is played in the air, but it's felt like mm -hmm. the majority of this match has been on the ground or on the walls or a lot of dribbling, a, a lot of chances with like ground hop air dribbles, but like that's the most action we see in the air. There's been, it's been a very defensive uh, minded game overall. Yeah, absolutely. And, and both sides, really, if you're playing defense, there's been a lot more clears that have just been either passes or cleared to the walls. But if you're Libertas in particular, a lot of great grounded passing plays that have opened up space for them. And those are really fun to watch because a lot of times now it's in the air. You know, to your point, there's a lot of air dribbles and crossing across the box that just feels so common and so easy for these guys to pull off. You don't see a lot of that grounding passing as much. Now, oh, Triple Trouble gonna hop in front of a challenge. And trying to receive a lot of these touches from Libertas to try to steal that ball away see more teams doing trying to opt for that more often than just you know slapping your car forward for a challenge but you know both have their uses in any in particular given situations for this matchup in particular both just trying to outmaneuver the other mike boy will have the catch on the dribble tried to oh. throw it under and he did mike boy carries it himself for the first goal great poise from mike boy here new he had Blue in a tough position because it's such a late challenge and he just squeaks it by the left side. Great choice by Mike Boy. A tough challenge for Bluey to catch up to that play. And unfortunately just turned around on the goal line. All of a sudden he's got Mike Boy coming right at him. Now Triple Trouble, as much as they love to try to receive that ball and carry it out themselves, Libertas might up the pace a little bit, but here's a quick transition from Triple Trouble that almost dies after a Mike Boy carry. Calix can't win that 50. Bluey follows up quickly though, and now Triple Trouble back on the attack. It's a two on one if Bluey can get this out quickly. He does, but Calix oh. misses the rebound and Rizex was cutting off the option, but there was still an angle for Calix to find. Oh, absolutely. He could have hit that shot if he had made contact. Now Mike Boy quickly downfield. Calix there to clean it up and see if he can get one back here for Triple Trouble. Oh, that could have been dangerous, but Mike Boy flies back for the calculated back pass. And Tadpole winning this 50. Bluey trying to play Enforcer again, but a quick follow-up from Mike Boy, and then Rick's Ronde putting pressure on Calix will put Libertas in a prime position to put another shot on net, but Bluey's quick up to that. Calix makes another 50 happen. Triple Trouble had a little bit of time, but the entire Libertas team is downfield. Rizek's angle denied. He puts another one on. Denied off the crossbar. Triple Trouble retained their one goal deficit and they'd love to turn it around quickly, but good good enough defense for Triple Trouble for now. Good enough, but the shooting wasn't there. Rizek's gonna have another try and Calix to turn it away. And Libertas definitely heating up in the shooting department as Rick's Ronde still trying to force the issue here, but unfortunately not enough power on that one and a big clear back to Rizek who Going back to just the previous play, had a couple of opportunities, but just couldn't get over the ball. And that's the most frustrating type. As he locks someone up here in the back wall, it was Bluey. Triple Trouble, good out here. They're able to pick up possession in the final third. Bluey might have an angle to Calix, but he gets bumped anyway. Well, would have been a dead play for Triple Trouble. Excellent defense. Every man on Triple Trouble's covered by a Libertas car. And they retain their one goal lead. Not a ton of offense, Corelli. They've been limited again, Triple Trouble, to two shots. Just yes. I mean, right there, Mike Boy just cuts off everything. And then a quick oh. passing play in midfield will give Libertas some much needed insurance late in game five. And this one, not the best touch from Calix, goes straight to Mike Boy, dishes it off to Rizex. Well done. 
to turn that one around on Triple Trouble so quickly. That ball given up and instantly punished by Libertas, and now they're up 2-0. Now, Triple Trouble, with the amount of offense that they've had, they start creeping towards, you know, uh, we haven't seen this everyday territory. But it is only a two goal lead. Oh, man. Now everyone <laughs> goes X, forward. He's going to make the save. They set the house, but it's a it's a house full of cards and it all fell apart. Now Triple Trouble are back on defense. I've never seen two enforcers sent at the net, Corelli. <laughs> that was certainly different. I was on his camera and I see the entirety of Triple Trouble running at him with the man with the ball <laughs> in the back. And he still somehow makes the save with that in and out play. And that was probably his best choice. So well done from him, but Triple Trouble still knocking on the door. Oh. Second touch from Calix, and he gets one back for Triple Trouble. He's kept his team in this series, and he does it again with a beautiful double tap while the rest of Libertas were still scrambling to get back into position. They caught them through the gap, and Calix did a nice one. Now, what does that mean for Triple Trouble in this last minute? Can they capitalize on that? Can they swing that momentum further in their direction? Or will Libertas stop the bleeding real fast off this kickoff? Mike Boy, another short touch. Calix, excellent patience. Waiting for Mike Boy. Right moment where he would lose that ball. Tadpole up quickly for this. Bluey doesn't need to make the 50 happen if the other player was going for his read. Now Rizex avoided the potential bump and got the save. Mike Boy again, always in the right spot to get Libertas some space, but Calix wants to close the gap a little bit more. Bluey past the Tadpole and denied by Mike Boy, who's been so quick off the line on defense. It's not over though. The devil to give Calix more space. Bluey has to wait a little bit. He lines it up for Tadpole. The shot is blocked by Mike Boy, but Calix is, no, it's off the post. Libertas survived the assault from Triple Trouble and they end up the victors today. Wow. That was so close for Calix. There are multiple chances really for Triple Trouble right at the end. It felt like that defense was just holding on, flicking through the Libertas players. Not a lot of them had boost. Rick Strande had 100, but the other two players had about 15 or 20. So it was a very low boost situation for most of Libertas in that situation. And unfortunately, Triple Trouble just couldn't find the mark here. Game five is what it went to in Libertas. Now I can finally call it Jorby. Now they take down Triple Trouble. I got it right this time. It's over, and that's not a that's not a spaceman sweep. But I'm glad I could get the uh, get the continue to get the word out. Um, <laughs> but I just for triple trouble, and there was times in the match, not necessarily just in game five, but again, it just felt like they were trying to throw the ball down the field and see what happens. It, it didn't. Well, they saw what happened. They ended up losing Libertas, especially Mike Boy. I thought did an excellent job reading the play at the end, preventing Triple Trouble from getting that tying goal. That's it for that game. We got one more on this stream for the day. Fade away versus the Vodafone Giants. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are going to want to tune into that. We'll have that after the break.